Meantime, Goldman Sachs shares down another 2% today. The bank just reported its worst earnings in years, including nearly a 60% drop in profit last month. And that's just one thing they've got to worry about. The other is a talent exodus. 90 partners have reportedly left under the bank's current CEO, David Solomon. CNBC.com's Hugh Sun has spoken with some former partners about what's driving these departures. He's here with me. For more, Hugh, welcome. And you've been following the saga for quite some time. I have. I have, Kelly. It's great to be with you. So I would place uh, the exodus of talent into sort of three buckets. First bucket is sort of business as usual. you got to know the context here. There are 400 partners at any given time. Every two years, they're adding roughly 75 new partners. So David Solomon, the CEO, actually wants a dynamic partnership in which people are sort of incented to sort of kill themselves hmm. with work, work really hard to get into the partnership, aspire to get there, and as a result, some people leave. Hmm. Uh, the second reason is strategic shifts. Now, we focus a lot here on the show about the, the consumer mess and how that was uh, sort of something that he, an, uh, an unearned foul on their part. Now, when you look at the asset management business, we don't really talk about that enough. They had, uh, when Solomon joined, there were, there were about five or six different buckets of individual pockets of investing for their own balance sheet funds. Solomon shows up and he says, this is kind of insane. I need to consolidate this. I need to raise third-party funds. If we do so, we're going to look a lot more like Blackstone. We're going to get a be better valuation because this is fee steady fee-generating business. You do that and, you know, you cause a lot of upheaval. There are a lot of folks who made a lot of money in that business who have left uh, in, that, in that shift. And finally, uh, and this is, speaks to something we also talked a lot about with Solomon, is, you know, sort of the chaos that he's generated. He's created three different... Uh, reorganizations in wow. Goldman Sachs. He has? Within, within his five-year tenure, he's elevated people like uh, Luke Sarsfield, uh, like Julian Salisbury, to head asset management in one reorg. In the next reorg, uh, he demotes them hmm. and they leave. And, and Julian is one of the, the folks that we've highlighted who, who've left. So, you know, between the three, uh, you know, you have roughly 90 partners who've left, at least 90 partners who left in five years. Not a shocking amount given the number of folks. It, what is a little bit more alarming is that the heads of some of these businesses have left.